Hi, this is Stan Phelps from MarketingLandYap.com, and welcome to the third episode of the Purple Goldfish video podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the five main ingredients of Marketing Land Yap. We're going to head out to the first Hall of Fame inductee, Doubletree Hotel, and talk about the Doubletree chocolate chip cookie. Today's podcast is sponsored by Synergy Events, an award-winning experiential marketing agency. Enjoy the podcast. Hey, welcome back. It's the Purple Goldfish Podcast. I'm Jack. This is Stan. And uh, today we're going to talk about what are the ingredients in good marketing land yap. So Chef Stan here is going to tell me. I know the I know how to make chili. I know the secret ingredients. I know what it takes to make a white Russian or a black Russian. But, right. Uh, how do you make a, How do you make a land yap? Well, you know it's it's we talked about it's from New Orleans. The idea of land yap. I guarantee. <laughs> you guarantee. It, it's kind of like a jambalaya. It's, it's a bunch of different ingredients that kind of just get thrown in and come together. So I, there, I essentially say there's five things you need to do, uh, five main ingredients or what I call rules. I'm an, I'm an acronym hound. So. Well, you also like words that you can't spell. You got lanyap, you got <laughs> jambalaya. Right. So what's the... What, what, are, what, are, the, what, are, the, what are the ingredients? Um, well, again, rules being the acronym. So R is your first ingredient. Okay. So it needs to be relevant. And we talked about this uh, before in that whatever you give needs to be perceived by your customer to be kind of that added value. So it needs to be relevant. Okay. So second ingredient, U. The U, yeah. So U is the idea of being unexpected. So we talked about, you know, the baker's dozen. You expect to get the 13th bagel, right? A good marketing land yap, when you give it, first time you give it to the customer, it's going to be something that's unexpected. So it's kind of leveraging the idea of surprise and delight. That's kind of like the uh, chocolate chip cookie at Doubletree. Exactly. Hotels. Doubletree Hotel. I mean, they've given away, I think, like 30 million of these things. They've been doing it for over 20 years. If you check into a, a double tree, you get, I mean, it's a big cookie. And it's warm. Warm, uh, chocolate chip cookie, good size. Um, I can remember the first time I stayed there, highly unexpected. Um, and it's something, in fact, I look forward to every time I go back to double tree. I was on a long business trip after a delay in a snowstorm, and when I got to Dallas and they handed me that chocolate chip cookie at one in the morning, it was, <laughs> Couldn't the, have been better. It was gonna be, it made an impression. All right, so that's R and U. What's L? L. All right, so L is the idea that you need to be limited. And when I say limited, it needs to kind of be a signature element, something that's unique to your business. So you want to kind of look at the DNA of your product or service and try to pick something out that maybe your customer can't get anywhere else. So it's, it's that little kind of unique thing that can be a trademark. Um, and, and frankly, what kind of makes the purple and the purple goldfish. Okay, so we've got R, U, L, E. E, E. So E is, um, it stands for expressive or expression. So it's, this is not about what you give. The idea is how you give it. So this is Madonna's favorite rule, express yourself. Express yourself, <laughs> exactly. So, you know, a lot of times it doesn't have to be a great thing, but if you give it in a unique and kind of sincere and an authentic way, then it can make all the difference. So that's that's expressive. Could you give me an example of somebody maybe? You know, there's a great example out there. Um, there's a tire place out in Portland, Oregon called Les Schwab Tires. And um, when you pull in to get your car serviced at Les Schwab, the attendants actually jog out to your car to serve you. I mean, if that's not an expression like, hey, you're important, we want to get you in and out of here, I mean, I don't know what is. That's, a, that's pretty cool. So last ingredient. Last ingredient, S. S. So S stands for... Usually the S stands for savings when you're... <laughs> savings, right? <laughs> but not here. Um, 
S just stands for for sticky. So what does sticky mean? Sticky is another big uh, marketing buzzword. Marketing buzzword sticky. Um, I think it's a big PR. Yeah. PR buzzword. But sticky just means whatever your marketing land yap is, it needs to be kind of noteworthy. So it's got to be something that when your customer leaves, that they're apt to talk about it. And really, that, that's kind of the end game, is you want to give your customers something to, to talk about, post to Facebook about, tweet about. So that you're plugging into your word of mouth channels, whether it's we're on the phone and you want, I need a good tire place, you're going to tell me about that place. or somebody's looking for a digital camera on f Facebook, well, you gotta go to this place because the guy really took his time and showed me how to use it, or whatever the case is, but that's really the, uh, the, um, the catalyst for the, uh, right. for the word of mouth. So, just in, just in review, R is relevant, U is unexpected, so the idea of surprise and delight, L is for limited, make it signature, E is for expressive, so how you actually give it, and S, sticky. All right, that's great. Well, don't forget the rules of good marketing land yap, and uh, join us next time for another episode of the Purple Goldfish podcast, or web blog. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of the Purple Goldfish podcast. Today we're here at the Double Tree which is a legendary purple goldfish. Their lanyap, amongst a lot of other things, is the famous chocolate chip cookie. So what happens here is, you check into a double tree, they'll set you up with your room, but then you get a hot chocolate chip cookie. And this thing is mushy. Look at that, oh my god. I love my job. So, the first time I ever encountered the Double Tree chocolate chip cookie was. I had to fly to Dallas for business, and in LaGuardia, there was a snowstorm. I got stuck at the airport. I ate the worst sandwich of my life at the hotel, at the uh, airport bar. Finally, got the plan. I thought it was going to be canceled, but no, we flew out. I got to Dallas late. I'd never been to Texas before. Drove down these lonely, dark roads. Finally, found my hotel. I got there in the middle of the night, walk in, and what happens? They hand me my key and a hot chocolate chip cookie. And oh my God, did that hit the spot. I'll never forget it. And now whenever I check in and they hand it to me, this warm memory comes back to me. So Lanyap, Lanyap Hall of Fame, the Double Tree chocolate chip cookie. Great job, Double Tree. Um, just wanted to take a second. Actually, Doubletree Hotels was the first company that got inducted into the Purple Goldfish Hall of Fame. And the reason why they, they have was because of the chocolate chip cookie. Um, pretty amazing. They give away, if you can imagine this, 30,000 cookies per day. That's roughly about 10 million a year. Um, they've already eclipsed the 200 million cookie mark. Um, they've given away over a million chocolate chip cookies to charity. Um, it's certainly such a signature element of staying here at the Double Tree, and uh, I think it's that nice little signature unexpected extra. So kudos to the Double Tree, and give it up for the chocolate chip cookie. Thanks.